Good morning everyone. This is another session on Vedic Astrology and Palmistry and in this video we will be trying to understand about the marriage and we will be trying to understand you know how different uh, combinations can shift the marriage line to different places uh, the astrological uh, you know the astrological interpretation we will be trying to see them in the palm now uh, let us try to understand first of all for what are the indications of a happy married life now the marriage life is looked from the seventh house okay so if your seventh house is placed well or if the lord or the sign the lord of the seventh house is placed well let's say uh, seventh house has the sign of cancer then the seventh house lord will be moon and say let's say that moon is present in the sign of taurus or cancer in which it is uh, you know it does well then in that case it can indicate towards a good marriage apart from that if the seventh lord itself is placed in seventh then again it's considered good okay even venus in its own sign uh, that is the sign of taurus and libra is also considered good so essentially whenever the seventh house lord is placed very well and also if venus is placed well we can expect a good and a happy married life now when a happy married life does take place we can see good and positive symbols that includes the fish and many other symbols okay apart from fish there are many other uh, uh, good symbols which can indicate towards a good marriage okay so this is talking about a good marriage but uh, what about an early marriage an early marriage is shown when uh, the seventh uh, the seventh lord is placed in a friendly sign and venus is again placed well that is in the sign of libra and taurus or maybe venus is present in the kendra signs or the trigon signs in all these cases we can expect an early marriage and whenever that early marriage takes into the picture the marriage line or the relationship line starts shifting downwards apart from that if it is a love and an early marriage you will see a cross but again which is shifted slightly downwards again an influence line here now which is present to the life line will start slightly from upwards and if it's an early marriage you'll see the influence line from the moon joining the fate line slight earlier okay so if you are looking at an early marriage okay that is say venus is in the sign of libra or taurus or seventh lord is in a friendly sign or venus is in the in the kendra or the trigon in all such cases the marriage life would be early and you'll see this horizontal relationship line to start coming downwards now what about a late marriage a late uh, marriage happens when the seventh house is in a malefic uh, sign or uh, you know the seventh house lord is malefic uh, venus is not placed well in all such cases the uh, venus is present in Sa in the saturn sign so what happens is that in all these cases the marriage gets delayed and ever such thing happens the these relationship lines start shifting upwards okay if it's a late and a good marriage then you'll see this cross to be shifting upwards this influence line coming later and this uh, line coming from the mount of moon joining the uh, fate line a bit later as well okay so that is how we can keep interpreting different uh, permutations and combinations of the astrological chart in 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 the palm as well now for example the seventh house lord is placed very well okay and eighth house is also placed well because eighth house talks about inheritance so seventh house means a good marriage so you'll see a good influence line joining the fate line whereas the eighth house tells about inheritance in that case you'll see a line coming uh, from the venus or so and going towards the sun so that is how you can keep interpreting different combinations permutations and combinations depending totally on the seventh house uh, or different houses and you can keep result you know keep interpreting the data for example let's say venus is in conjunct with mercury okay just let's take an example okay so venus in conjunction uh, with mercury say in the seventh house okay so venus and mercury both will help you in a good marriage so you'll see the mount of venus to be very protruded and mercury also to be very strong and some kind of connection between a positive conjunction between them will confirm that there is a venus mercury conjunction 
so that is how we can parallelly keep checking about the marriage life both from the astrological chart as well as from the palm in the palm the relationship lines are found here uh, across here can also indicate towards relationship line splitting of the heart line okay as i already talked and also influence line here and influence line here can all talk about uh, marriage if the marriage from the astrological chart looks delayed this line will join later this line will shift upwards vice versa this line will start coming downwards and this will join earlier so that hopefully in this video you understood how both of them go well with each other and complement each other that is astrology and palmistry are kind of similar hopefully you got few more points i'm sure thank you to palmistry and astrology do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye